The main mission of our centre is as an educational hub, building human capacities for outbreak preparedness and response. Coordination and leadership during the pandemic was very heterogeneous across countries. So in the wake of the, of, of the pandemic, we created a book. Nowhere before has there been published every aspect of preparedness and response for outbreaks. And it's our core course book that we reference to it frequently throughout the, the teaching. I think the biggest problem has been that outbreak preparedness and response is not recognised, which is a, a specialty. It's a unique body of knowledge that's usually quite fragmented, but the beauty of our courses is it brings together the many pillars of, of pandemic response, whether it's from communications to leadership to logistics to laboratory to clinical care to community engagement. So the Master of Science in Infectious Disease Emergencies was designed um, as a direct response to fill the gaps that we've seen during the pandemic, especially in the preparedness phase. It's about you know, understanding how to um, interpret information, especially when it's rapidly evolving. It's about knowing how to lead people under pressure. And it's about knowing how to navigate across various roles and sector. So we want our students and our graduates to be able to apply this knowledge into a real world situation. Our program is also designed to um, have our students be able to understand how to apply theoretical knowledge back into their own countries. Part of this design is facilitated by our very diverse faculty across a number of sectors um, and they all have played an important role in outbreak response and are experts and thought leaders in the field. The program in general is very international, so the faculty are global, but the students are also global. And you know, that's important because of the knowledge base that you need, but also important because it, you need the real world experience. So it's a combination of different things. So it's, um, of course, some didactic lectures, but then what's probably even more important are real world stories. So when people talk about, okay, here's how you confront Ebola in Africa or SARS, COVID in, in Singapore, there's numerous faculty members who can get up and say, well, when I was on the ground in the Democratic Republic of Congo or Sierra Leone for an Ebola outbreak, or when I was on the ground handling this particular aspect in Singapore or China, and really make it a real experience. And, and our students, I think they tap into that. And you know that's extremely important because that's the way that outbreak responses work. It's international teams speaking different languages with different expertise. So it's sort of a microcosm of what they'll be doing later on. So that's extremely important, that connectivity. And many of our careers and our, and our functionality is built on that sort of those connections that we get earlier in our careers. I'm a public health practitioner specializing in infection prevention and control. I've seen firsthand how infection disease outbreaks strain healthcare systems. So I was motivated to join this program so that I gained skills needed to respond more effectively and contribute to global health security. The diversity of my, my class is quite amazing. We share experiences across from all over the world and I would say these connections are already becoming like part of my professional network. So I'm passionate about equity in global health and I think it starts with understanding how infectious disease spreads and how can we respond to it in the most effective way. The program is a very multifaceted program, so we've talked about a lot of different aspects of outbreak response from communication to modeling, which I particularly enjoyed. It was also really helpful to have people that work in the field share their experience and diverse outlooks on um, different countries, different responses, different healthcare systems and bring something new to the table. So we draw on real world experiences such as simulations, um, case studies, uh, stories from the field, from experts and from our learners themselves. One of the things we started off early on in the program was addressing um, cross-cultural communications but also um, balancing that with hands-on discussions, group work, group activities. So for most of the time, the classroom is really loud and engaged. We touch on cholera, we touch on Ebola, we touch on dengue, we touch on Marburg, Mpox. And we think that these give real um, concrete examples to the learners that will equip them in their futures. Being exposed to various countries, you get to see and experience their culture from them. And then from this network, in, in the future of a potential outbreak, 
we can tap on this knowledge to get to know what would happen in their country and how they manage and how we can get our ideas across each other to better manage the outbreak. The program covers many practical knowledge that can be uh, used in societies, communication and law issues and also the leadership skills. I believe that with a more diverse perspective, then you will better prepare facing the global public health emergency in the future. We aspire that over the next five or ten years to have hundreds of people in the region that have been through our, our trainings and, and can provide that backbone of knowledge so that when a pandemic does hit, you've got those people that understand the, the broad holistic approach to the pillars of response. Some of them don't know where they're going yet, but their enthusiasm in the classroom and their active participation is what excites me to see where they will end up. Whether you're already in the field or you're looking into uh, stepping foot into the industry, I highly recommend the program because whatever you learn over here, um, I believe it's uh, whether it's academic or practical skill sets, it's very beneficial for all. If you're passionate in infectious diseases, science or global health, and you want to create an impact, no matter if it's big or small, well, this is your chance. It gave us a lot of insight of how to resolve um, problems, have critical thinking, um, creative solutions. It just gives you an opportunity to be yourself and how you can make a difference. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.